Welcome back to Grill This, Smoke That. I know you're like me and you have someone in your family who has a Blackstone or other type of griddle and you have to find some great gifts to go along with that for them. I'm here to help you today. I'm gonna to show you my favorite accessories that you can use with your Blackstone or any other type of griddle that you own. I have two very popular accessories that I've shown on my channel, so we're gonna start with the most popular one today. They are gravity-fed salt and pepper grinders. So all you do is tip them upside down and the salt and pepper, fresh peppercorns, fresh salt starts grinding. You can go to the link tree in my bio and then click my Amazon store and you'll find a link to purchase these in the grilling section, along with a lot of the other things I'm about to show you. I'm not receiving any compensation for any of the items that I'm gonna show you in this video today. I'm simply showing you what I like to use. Number one, you need a set of spatulas. These are flippers made by Blackstone, sold by Blackstone. You can find them at Walmart, you can find them at Amazon. I'll make sure I put a link to most of the things today in my Amazon store link that you can find by clicking my link tree. The second thing I wanna show you is this griddle tool holder. It's made by Blackstones. It goes right here on the side of your griddle and your flippers can stay in it. This keeps the grease from dripping on the ground when you put it on things like the magnetic hooks or on the hooks on the side of the Blackstone. So great accessory, the griddle tool holder. Anytime you're cooking on griddle, you're gonna be using oil and you're gonna be using water. So I recommend you pick up some bottles. These are made by Blackstone. Two different sizes are available. I use this one size mostly for water, this size for oil. So I have two different types of oil I use. I typically use avocado oil for cooking and vegetable oil for seasoning, but you can do whatever you want with these bottles. The next thing I recommend is a dome lid or multiple dome lids. They make them round, they make them in different sizes. They also make large rectangles, uh, which I personally like, uh, but make sure that they have some kind of heat resistant handle. This one has a little bit of a rubber piece on here so it doesn't get hot. So when you lift it off, it's nice and easy, but check out some dome lids. Also really like using a meat press or bacon press. They sell lots of different sizes to these. I've had this one for many years. It's a Lodge brand. I will make sure I provide a link to this. It's got a coiled handle so it doesn't get too hot to pick up. This is used not only for bacon, but also for other types of meats to get a good sear. You can set it on top and it gets really good surface contact with the griddle surface. This is the cheapest accessory, great for a stocking stuffer or someone you just need to add on something. These are sold at the Dollar Tree. I like using this in one hand and a flipper in the other so that I can work together instead of trying to manage two flippers. It's a little more awkward. These are also great for use on windy days. They fit right on the side of the Blackstone, the direction the wind's coming from, and it blocks the wind from blowing out the burn. This is called the Ringer. I've used it on cast iron for years, but it also works really well on a griddle surface to get off any stubborn stuck on food. Most of it comes off with just water, so you can check my Blackstone cleaning video, but I love this tool called the Ringer, and it is available in the Amazon store. One of the latest additions to my accessories is this. I call it the food shovel. It's actually a Cuisinart. I think they call it the food mover. I'll make sure I have a link in the Amazon store to this, but it allows you to get large quantities of food off the griddle quickly. Harbor Freight has a line of magnetic accessories that are made for toolboxes, but they work great on grills also. This is great for holding spices or your oil bottles. I attach it right to the front of my Blackstone and I can put my oil bottles or my seasonings right there so they're nice and easy to get. They also sell paper towel holders that are magnetic as well, but check out Harbor Freight for those. Anytime you're cooking meat, it's always best to cook to temperature. So one thing I like to do is I like to check the temperature of my griddle with this so that I know if it's up to 500 degrees for searing or if it's low enough for cooking things like eggs. And then I also have this, this is a Thermopin MK4. This is a really high end instant read thermal probe. You can stick it in the meat and it tells you the temperature instantly. I'm gonna link the Javelin Pro Duo in my Amazon store. It's a cheaper version of the same type thing. It's an instant read digital thermometer with really high ratings. If you want this, again, it's called the Thermopin MK4. I've talked about this one before, ways to cover the grease trap in the back of your griddle when you have a griddle full of food so the food doesn't fall down inside it. And I cut up in a full pan and made this little cover to go over it, but there's actually a company that makes these called the Griddle Goalie. So look up the Griddle Goalie. These slide right over your grease trap and it prevents food from sliding down into the grease trap. Here's some things I don't think you need as a griddle owner. You don't need this grill brick and you also don't need these scouring pads. I used these once and never used them again. I tried this for a, a couple of scrapes and realized it's really not necessary. So save the money, you don't need to buy these two things. I hope this makes your Christmas buying experience easier and you're able to find some things for the griddle lover and your family.